on, on your design? Yeah, we're gonna go with, with scratching that since ours came in. We're gonna go ahead and just use it on here. Okay, cool. And then this is gonna be the one for sale for this chassis, right? Is for that this one, yeah, but it's gonna be modified a little different. Really? Everything, but this one is we modifying because the trailing arm, the trailing arms, and everything else. Um, it's just a little, a little different, different, man. Yeah, than exactly. than yours. Okay. All right, nice. You heard it here yeah, first, you guys. Damn, I didn't see you so small, bro. Just came in. Yeah. So. Yeah, new design going up, and actually this model will be the one for this gen right here. This gen? Generation? Generation. So we have our Accord kits uh, that came back from having the materials bent. Um, so what we're going to do, since we haven't finished the tabs on the front of the other plate that we were making for it, um, what we'd like to do is we're going to incorporate the Accord kit. We didn't think we were going to have it in time, especially to try to get this car out. Um, but since they came back in time, what we're going to do is we're going to take this plate off and we're going to actually be using our Accord TV7 kit on the car now that we were able to get the materials back that we needed bent. So the top bar you can see there, that one's already formed and, and made for this chassis. So, this one we're gonna have to modify a little bit because we want his diff placement to be exact with where his drive shaft is because we don't wanna have to modify the drive shaft. Um, so this is the Accord kit. Uh, we will be installing this on the car, but with, with a couple of different variations just to make sure that the diff fits uh, correctly with the placement forward. Okay. Uh, but we're just basically taking the diff mount down and then getting this back portion started uh, with that so that we can get it all welded up. We're gonna have to shorten the bars on the end here to make sure that the lower control arms fit because of course we're using his uh, trailing arms still. So these are gonna be different offset from where from our ours, arms yeah. would sit. Um, our ears sit down this way. Um, this one's off at a little bit of an angle. So we're just getting everything angled to, you know, to the point where the geometry is right and it, it's not pitched forward or back and it, it's as centered as possible. All right, cool. All right. So it goes, folks. Taking this one off. It's going to be a tubular kit, and of course, we're going to incorporate the two points right there. Two link. The two link. <laughs> so now we're putting this in the middle right here. We're putting this in the middle, so this way we have an adjustment to go, full, you know, um, in and out with it. So, if this is set, so we're gonna try to bring it as back as much as we could to line this thing up pretty straight. And you can see, we could probably put it right there. Right there. Just right on the line. Oh, huh? tack. Time to tack. Tick tack, tick tack. Jet eye jet. Yeah, that's fresh. Wait, ground. <laughs> you're a TK, you know. Yeah. No, no, no. The cameraman, let's get him back right now. The cameraman, don't even get his hand dirty. Really? Yes, I do. At night. No, go from, from here to here. Yeah, yeah. 
23 exactly. Exactly, yeah. Center to center. Don't we have a 23? There we go. We talked about this. Really? And we need to find it. We're running around. Okay. That's the shortest one we have. Here we go. The EK again. Let's grab an EK. Grab another EK. <laughs> EK to the rescue. <laughs> The, the Frankenstein is the Honda Accord, but it's got EG lower control arm, EK diff mount. EK slash hybrid, hybrid, yeah, EK yeah, slash yeah, H. Fine. So we can see if it, if, it's, if it lines up with that. It's way yeah, too it's short. Way too short. Is it EG? EG is 26. We got an EF. Yeah, we got all the different sizes. Yeah, you need. they look wide. Like, yeah. what you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one wider. This one. Yeah, it's my longer. Here's a trial. Custom, here we go. Well, Jay. Guess what? Yes, got a well again. Oh. Here we go. That one. Oh, perfect. Well, yeah. Oh, look at that. What do you know? I told you. That's the ones we cut. Yep. Well, that's it then. Let me see that fit again. Twenty-three and a half. Oh. Well, because it's going like this. Down, you know, wait, wait. Let's yeah. see it. Just tack, tack it, and then let's put yeah, it up there. That's why I want to tack. Dude, we can move it. We can move it. Tack oh. it. Oh. Oh, got it on camera. This is going to be a very, very, very busy weekend, as you know. Some of the Jamaicans and Tony. Tony's a Jamaican Tony. too. Tony's yeah, going to be taking the skis yeah, out man. this weekend with Son. So I really miss that chin. This is going to be a pretty, really, really, really miss that chin. Okay. How's it looking? Come, come down this side a little bit first. Yeah, that's um. No, that's not gonna fit. A little bit. Off. Just a little bit. Need to be in more. Like, okay. Just a little bit. Cut this so we can move this thing back now. Oh, okay. That's it. Yep. Because what we're trying to do is, this is going to work when it comes to the kit itself being installed with the width of this, but because of the length of his drive shaft. Yeah, we don't want to mess with it, right? We don't want to mess with the length of that. So in order to do that, we've got to shift this back some Lost here. It up. Okay. So, yeah. So basically, so that we're able to when, once we cut this and notch it. Yeah. I can't put this up high enough to get the diff where it needs to go because as I lift it up, it, it, it touches, touches here. Right, so. yeah. Okay. Cool. So we're, we're take just going to take some material it. out and then just basically square it with the cuts that are on the back of the subframe there. Yeah. Because um, I made some plates that we're going to box the sides of that in with. Okay. So we'll do that next also. Great. Check it out, guys. Everything is getting braced up really nice. Looking good, Sam. And then this, after that, we're going to put... This is going to get pretty much on here for the brace. And then there's another one on top of here like this. And, and I see he, 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 he already cut hold. it out. Yeah. So, that's going to brace this part here together. Nice to get a kit. Yeah. Everything's gonna well. Everything's gonna well. Right here, Shannon, it's gonna be pretty much boxing everything right here. Yeah, we're gonna box all that stuff in. So we're gonna clean up all this stuff up. Yeah, let's cut yeah, it before yeah, we try nice. to clean it up a little bit. And then we're gonna see if we can screw this one in also instead of just having this one. Like a right previous one that we had yeah, the mounting point there also. So. Yeah, it's both it up right there too. Yeah, this looks very good. It's all boxed in now. I'm gonna put up. The new frame part of it and then we're gonna put the dip up and see where it sits so we can mark the tabs to have the dip sitting up there it's coming along good all right so as you can see here we're putting the bottom base of the dip mount plate up um, I had to do a few different things to modify the one that's going to be for our core kit first of all on his chassis here it has a nub there where 
one of the points would be it would come out and bolt in there to a 10 millimeter um, on his chassis it doesn't have that one here so i just went ahead and cut that ear off we're going to reinforce it weld it up here um, and just brace everything from that side um, the other thing that we just got done completing is uh, welding these plates here as you can see just the box off the back of the subframe uh, i'm going to go back through and just add seam sealer into the tops of those and in the back just to make sure everything's good there um, and then next was the back that we're going to work on um, getting the bar notched just enough so that it's centered with these two holes um, and then we'll go ahead and build the top bar from that and work on the diff mount uh, to make sure that the position is correct for his drive shaft length. We're still at it over here. Um, so we got the diff up in place. I bolted it to the drive shaft. The top of the diff mount is in. Um, I have it about to the height where it's gonna sit. And as you can see here, uh, just basically put the end pieces for the lower control arm uh, where this bar is going to connect to. So what I did is I broke the welds off because we had it tacked at the end of it um, where it's going to be on our actual Ford kit. <laughs> But like I said before, because of the placement of his diff, um, you know, we need to shift it forward being that he already has a drive shaft made. So yeah. we're basically making it to incorporate the length of his drive shaft. So what we're gonna do instead is basically figure out the distance of this gap here. And then we're gonna move this bar in along this bar so that we're able to get that distance correct. And then once we have that done, go ahead and tack that here. But I'm gonna have to shift the diff a little bit to center it, and then I can push it in the rest of the way so I can fill in that gap there to make sure it's the correct length. Check it out guys. First bar is up in the rear. Everything looking clean and nice. Oh, we see that, you see that? Oh, yep, then the other bar is gonna go on top. Looking super sick. Wait till you guys see the end result. It's coming, nice. Doing some leveling. Yeah, so uh, what we're doing now is basically just working on the back portion of the diff mount. I'm just trying to get this to a level point. Um, and then basically what we did is align the back portion of it, got the center points here, and then measured that through. This is our center line. And then basically from the distance of these ears, it's two and a quarter inch. So we take half of that, uh, which is 1.125. So that's the distance from here to here. So this is the line where we're going to set the diff uh, just to make sure that it's directly in the center uh, so that the axle length is the same on both sides. Both side. So you're gonna, you're gonna tack, tack one side, then move it where you want and tack the other yeah, side. Yeah, so what I'm gonna have to do is tack this side because as you can see, it looks like the diff is pointed this way a tiny little bit because it's hard to align it properly in this because it doesn't hold it exactly the way we want it. So tack right here. And then after that's tacked, then kind of push it over this way and get it all aligned and leveled perfectly from there. Mm -hmm. And then tack the other side and then we can go ahead and work on the top bar that's after that. Bar. Okay. All right guys, check it out. What do you guys think? That new Tubi. 94, 97 Accord. The kit is coming literally right now. So you can see everything's all tacked up here. This bar here, we also tacked this bar here. So this is all going to be bracing together. Once we get the top bar up, um, then we're going to have, go ahead and weld all this up here. All this gets welded up. And then we're going to brace everything brace together. Everything yeah, and then from here, we'll make the final when we get done and all that. So we can get the whole S1 look. Yeah. We'll put this on here at the end. So. It's nice. Yeah, so. But before we do all that, we gotta brace everything up. Brace make everything, sure everything up, and make sure everything is good and well. You see now, we got more mounting point one, two, and then uh, we're gonna have another one here, and then up here, and then of course the top, and then it's gonna have another two more mounting point going forward this going way. Forward that way, yeah. yeah so. Tool link. 
Alright, it's coming together, man. Drop shaft, everything, everything looks straight. Yeah, and this is good, this case is going to be for sale also for the 94 to Correct. 97 it's, Accords. We had to modify it a little bit to make it work for this, but it's this is eventually that's what it's going to look like um, on, you know, 90 to 96 Accords. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she'll be to 97? Yeah. Oh. So guys, the, the diff is where it's supposed to be, so now we're going to get the top brace here lined up. Ooh, check it out. This is going to be going on the end of the top bars because it um, gives a little space. And Jake's about to lay them down on the Diff mount, look at this thing, work of art. It's just like the Prelude Fort Gen, but it's a little bit different. CB7 from 91 to 97 up forward. So we got the top bar all tacked up and everything like that. Um, we went ahead and basically took the diff mount off because everything else is tacked as well. So next step is going to be to uh, go ahead and get this off also so we can just weld this up. Once everything's welded, then we'll go ahead and actually weld it into the chassis itself. Chassis so. itself yeah. Check it out, guys. So it was earlier. We got it flush tacked up and this is where the two little L's are going to be. Check this out. So clean. This thing is finished welding. Looks real beefy. So all the Accord guys, CB7 and 9497. Nice. Just a slight adjustment for this one because you know of um, a wall setup, but it looks nice. Came up with the right thing. Yeah. Jit out of control. Give it up. Woo! It's back up now, guys. Looking super nice. Boy. So we got everything welded and secured for the diff mount portion of it. So next is going to be the top bar. Um, Jit just got done welding that as well. That one looks nice. So, like we do with all the other ones, we have it angled and everything so it fits in the frame rail perfectly. Um, the placement with this one on where it's going to sit, um, even with the spacers, it still sits just a little bit below the frame rail. Um, so we made these little L's that basically this is going to go at the bottom of the bar here and then that's gonna meet up against the frame rail so we can weld this entire surface to the bar, to the bar. and then attach this to the frame rail from underneath there. And then the whole outer side and top of this will also be welded to the frame rail. Cool. Look how nice this looks, guys. Precise. You saw, um, you saw Chansey was fabbing up and measuring you know the angles and everything. You know yeah, so you can see the levels. back here the center line and everything like that. If you look from here, this is the center line marking. It's perfect. This is where the ears need to sit. Yeah. Nice, nice. All right, guys. Swiftly, quick. We're getting there. Get the top bar up, and then after that, um, once we get the axles back, we can put those in, and then uh, we're going to work on the two link bars that are going to come off the bottom of this, and then from there we'll move on to a few things up front to okay. get those touched up. We got the upper brace set where we want it. Looking good. I'm gonna put those tabs on the end part right there to complete it. And the weather. Getting that tack on. Tack tack. Up that tab. Look at that. Oh, that's like dead on. Tag perfect, right? Boy, this Ooh. is like meant to be here. I know. I like this style. <laughs> wow. Check it out, guys. Check it out. It's all well up now. How do you like that? That looks nice. Top swelled up, bolted up. Everything's pretty solid. Coming nice. Woo. Woo. 
Another Saturday at S1 Biz Out. And a sex. Oh, Devin Star's here. Getting some pipes. Oh, yeah, right. out, bro. We got Rudy, dry. So man, tell the people, man, how you like that? How you like that? That dip, man. I love that dip, man. It's beautiful. It's representing S1, and that's for Matt. That's what I'm talking that's about. I'm Let's talking go look at it. Let's go look at it. <laughs> Dude, so when Javi saw this, he was like, I had to keep it PG. I had to keep it PG because I kind of wanted to whip it out and do a little thing, but I didn't, you know. So <laughs> look at the guy. Looking so, so, so fresh. Wheels are on. Hoonigan. What's up with it? Hoonigan. <laughs> Secret. <laughs> MK1, DW. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, man. We, lo we love it. We love it. We love it. So, pretty soon, it'll be out. Pretty soon. We're working on it. Test and tune when? Uh, um, Wednesday, probably? Thursday, Thursday night. This Thursday, Thursday night. Thursday night. This Thursday night, Braden said we're gonna run through some passes and see what it's all about. All right, cool. You guys look up for that one. In the meantime, like, subscribe. We're gonna put a link for Javi's um, YouTube also. Yes, sir. We're I'm gonna bring start it. my own little channel and get this car going and get other builds going as well. All right, cool. Peace all out. That's when always will. Got them cars killing speeds and just sound like artillery. It's all will and deep, almost like a war machine. Like it's man for the infantry, Air Force, Navy, Army, and Marines. Now they clock triple digit speeds and they got them on the bases. Must be all the innovation. Watch them racing information. Got the gauges twitching crazy, switching up the pace. Shipping in a Civic or an S2K. This is not your daily S1, always gripping pavement. S1, S1, you gon' want a test run. All We'll drive in the lane in the left one. S1, S1, you gon' want a test run. All wheel drive in the lane in the left one. S1, all wheel drive, got the mind is killing time. All wheel, put the tool, four wheel, put the tip of S1, all wheel drive, got the mind is killing time. All wheel, put the tip of you grip and don't get caught. So. S1, all wheel drive, got the mind is killing time. Them wheels are always gripping, them wheels are never sleeping. S1, all wheel